water, air, food, shelter and clothes. Then why clothes are important? Clothes are important because they protect us from heat. They protect us from cold and they make us look nice. Means the clothes are important for us. They like food, air and shelter. Cloth is also very important source in our life. Then uh, what, from what we get uh, clothes from? The, we get clothes from different types of fibers. Means how we can't wear one. Um, we can't wear one type of clothes in all the seasons. No. So there are different types of clothes for different types of seasons. Um, for example, for woolen clothes for winter, uh, cotton clothes for summer, and uh, other some types of clothes for rainy season. So. Uh, now we will learn um, what is fiber. Um, material, uh, material which is available in the form of thin and continuous strands is called fiber. Means uh, the uh, uh, means the fiber is one of the material which is in the continuous strands. It is called fiber. For example, there is woolen strands. So after knitting it, we get sweaters. So there are two types of fibers: natural fiber and man-made or synthetic synthetic fibers. So we will learn natural fiber in detail. What is natural fiber? A fibers which are obtained from plants and animals are called natural fibers. Means which which we get. If, uh, the natural fibers are not prepared with any chemical use. For example, cotton, jute, silk, wool. Uh, means this uh, cotton, jute, silk, wool. This all we get from nature only. Our nature. So it is called natural fiber. And now we learn what is man-made fiber. A fiber that are synth synthesized in laboratory are called man-made fibers. Means in that type of fibers, there are chemical uses in the, for preparing that fibers. For example, nylon, um, archaic, terylene, uh, terricotton, and polyester. In this type of uh, uh, fibers, there are some chem chemical. Uh, uh, this type of fi fibers are synthesized in laboratories. Here the fibers which we obtain from uh, uh, 
Uh, Tibet and 
sheets sheets are wear in many parts of our country like jammu and kashmir himachal pradesh uttaranchal sikkim anurachal pradesh uh, haryana punjab rajasthan gujarat etc means uh, in our india there are sheets are found in many parts of our country sheets feed on grass and leaves uh, they are also fed with a mixture of pulses corn jowar oil cakes and minerals by reading this we can understand that sheep is herbivorous animal and it feeds on grass leaves and they are also fed with a mixture of pulses corn jowar oil cakes and min minerals in winter sheep are kept indoors and fed means in winter sheep are not uh, allowed for going more out and they are kept inside and fed uh, and fed fed on leaves grains and dry fodder some breeds of sheep have thick hair on their body which yeah, which yield good quality wool in large quantities they are uh, selective bred to get sheep of good breed so i hope uh, uh, this much part portion have you have understood there and uh, now my, um, our upcoming portion is processing of wool means how um, from the wool uh, from the fiber wool means the fleece of um, the fleece of sheep how the wool is formed means how much processes we have to do for making it comfortable for wearing that we will learn in 